Hi there guys, I'm um, chatting to Don and listening to that dreadful music in the background. Well, how are you Don? I'm good, I'm good. Where are we? We're at the Safe Night Space in Crime Street in Hobart. And this is a place from 8 o'clock in the evening to 7 o'clock in the morning where people can be and grab a meal, be somewhere safe to sleep, talk to some good people, listen to some music. You've got a few old banging guitars sitting around, we can teach people how to play a couple of chords and we can, we can play music like the Beatles or we can listen to some of the saccharine lace solar slush that's upstairs, drown in our conversations and feet <laughs> banging on the roof. But it's a place where people can come and you know, just find themselves a spot, feel comfortable, get off the streets, get out of the weather. I'm John Schofield and I'm happy to be recorded. I'm 43, got no address, but um, I'm at care of the post office Hobart to try and get in in the 15 spots before it's um, too late. While I'm looking for work as well and, and trying to find somewhere to, to live, it's very hard to find work too. <laughs> Been looking flat out. You guys running just been operating for three months. Yeah, we started on the 16th of December. Yeah. So this is we're, we're still feeling our way through this. We we've had so many learnings since we first started. When people came into this space, we would find people would wear out a patch, walking backwards and forwards. People weren't comfortable. Uh, people weren't comfortable to relax. You know, some people are coming for a little while, grab a cup of coffee, grab a bite to eat, and then they go, and that'll be see you later. We'll see you tomorrow night. We wash and dry clothes for the less fortunate members of our community. But the biggest bulk of our job, our role, we're all volunteers, are the six orange chairs behind us. That's where we sit down and have a chat and listen, non-judgmental. Um, every Thursday it comes here and they do it all for me. We don't give any great advice, we can't do that, but we, we're good listeners. It's quite emotional from what we hear, but it brings us back again because we know we can listen again and have some sort of impact onto who we're listening to. And yeah. How long have you been doing this for? Mm, a couple of years now. Good on you. And how many um, do other areas as well? This is only one of a dozen around yeah, Hobart okay. and suburbs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're on a first name basis. With well, right, okay. That's now it. Now on the it you're going to be busy, busy, busy. Yeah. <laughs> It, it took a while for people to settle into the environment. Once people became comfortable with that environment, they sat, they found themselves a place to, to pull up and sleep, relax, trust the people they were mm. with, trust the environment. No, that's good. Change, yeah. change has shifted, letting further people yeah, asleep. And they're changing their pattern. Like yeah, you said, it's trusting, they feel safe, they know that yeah. while they're sitting here on the floor in this building, that nothing's going to happen to them. A, a bloke said he was going to mug me, and then he said he changed his mind. <laughs> Pretty scary. Getting a good feed every evening, every morning. Mm -hmm. They're getting a place to sleep okay. and they're getting a sleep. Yeah. So what we're finding is people are starting to, they've got the, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, they've got the platform, they've got the foundation sorted. So as that starts to get organised, people are starting to think about the issues that they, they need to address. And that's the, you know, whether it's drug and alcohol issues, or whether it's, you know, rekindling relationships with estranged families, or, you know, getting involved with housing services, working with a, with a case manager to help them sort out you know, their debts, um, a lot of those things people are starting to get involved with, and that's, that's the beauty of this. It'd be good if the, um, the government could get a place like this so that they're open 24 hours a day, so that it's actually a whole day of being safe, because it's pretty scary out there on the streets and like in alleyways and stuff, especially if you're by yourself. <laughs>